This is better than my imagination. This is more than a dream come true. Without the slightest bit of hesitation, I knew what I was meant to do. No way. Is that what Jennifer Brooks said when you asked her out? Oh. Just serve the ball. Go in, Set it up. Get ready. Let's go, buddy. Call yeah. it. Yeah. Andrew, nice go ahead. Right. Call it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Over. 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 Yeah. Over. Good. Come on, over. Woo. Come on. Yeah. Right. Go. Let's go. Watch nice. it. Andrew. Watch it. Over. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Ah. Oh, God. Nice work. Yeah. Yes. No. The movie is on the losers. I know you guys are cheating. I just haven't figured out how yet. Yeah. Hey, way to be, bud. Way to be. Oh, I forgot my jacket. You have to win and be forgetful? Being eccentric goes hand in hand with immense talent. <laughs> I may be ill. <laughs> yeah, you played like you were. See you guys there. Later. I find those things work better if you turn them on. John, you tried this last week and it didn't scare me. I don't believe we've met. You never saw me. No. I definitely think I would have remembered. What's wrong? Nothing, if you promise to keep quiet. About what? I've got to get out of here. Wait, maybe I can help. What is it? You don't want to know. pulls me to a shower, I'd like to know her name. How did you do that? Tell you what, I'll tell you if you tell me why you ran off. Look, if you're in some kind of trouble, I can help. You seem like a nice kid, but you can't help me. What if you just tell me I... Andrew Clements, 555-2602. The lunar eclipse is until next week, man. Let's go. Admitting defeat. That's ridiculous. What if you like a girl that's in your grade? Andrew, what do you think? Andrew? Huh? Well, now that's very deep. There's nothing wrong with liking a girl your age. Don't confuse Kirk with the truth. <laughs> no, you can like her. Just don't go out with her. She'll think you can't get anyone older. Big talk from a guy who hasn't had a date in a month. <laughs> yeah. Strategy, Clements. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about women. Hi, Andrew. Sorry I'm late. Hi. 
Kirk Stevens, Andrew's best friend. Do you have any sisters? Just go along with me. I need your help. Playing hard to get's one thing, but walking out on you is something else. She'd been with me. She'd be in a wedding dress by now. All right! <laughs> Did you ever think she might just not have been in the mood to see a movie? Maybe she just got lost on the way back from the bathroom. Let's face it, my man, the relationship could use a little work. <laughs> Dr. J, it's a tree. To you, it's a tree. But to that caterpillar munching on that leaf, it's dinner. Things aren't always what they seem to be. Yeah, it may seem like I'm gonna stick around to hear the rest of this stuff. Well, if things aren't only what they seem, how can you be sure it's a caterpillar? Wait up! You see, I've been asked to author a chapter of a new book. What an insult! You're good enough to write the whole book. Thank you, but this is quite an honor. It's a book about ways of seeing, and specialists in different fields will each provide a chapter. Is there a chapter on ways of seeing what's on girls' minds? I said it's being written by specialists, not magicians. Then what good is it? Well, Andrew, sometimes we get so caught up in the rut of our day-to-day -day lives that we, we fail to see things in a different way. Follow me? Not really. Perhaps this will help. Observe. Andrew, things aren't only what they seem. It was your perception of the hologram that made it seem dangerous. I think I've got it. Good. In other words, if I met this gorgeous woman today, and she pulled me into a shower, uh -huh. and then ran away from me, pretended she knew me real well a minute later, and then disappeared again, it's only my perception that I'm confused. Exactly. <laughs> that didn't really happen to you, did it? Oh, how was the horseback riding? I didn't go. I don't think I'm ready. Well, why not? Melissa's mother said it was a beginner's class. Yeah, stunt riding. Stunt riding? Mom, don't ask me if I want any dinner, because I'm not hungry. What's wrong? Nothing. Andrew, you've never entered this room and left without eating something. Did you ever try to help someone and they didn't want your help? Did Kirk get caught in the girls' locker room again? Mom, you, you know that volunteer work you do at the shelter? Uh-huh. What kind of kids do you deal with? Well, there are lots of different kinds. Why are they there? Some are runaways and others have no place to go. Do you ever have trouble getting them to open up to you? Sure, they're scared, confused. Then how do you help them? I listen. What if they won't tell you anything? You just keep trying, but it takes a lot of time and patience. Honey, why do you ask? I don't know. I guess I'm just interested. Sure that's all it is? Yeah. So what's for dinner? I'm starved. <laughs> Sal, please. He's sleeping. Andrew, it's Piper. Who? The girl from the shower. What happened to you today? You ran off. I'd look like an idiot. I can't explain now. I need your help. <sighs> it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm at the clubhouse. You've got to come. Please. Pa
Andrew? Who was on the phone? It was a wrong number. And you wanted to tell your shirts? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about what to wear tomorrow. You want to tell me what's going on? I'm not so sure myself. Danny, maybe I can help. Uh, I'm, I'm real tired. Can we talk about it tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Try and get some sleep, huh? Thanks, Ma. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. I hope you're not looking for the same Piper I am. How do you know her? Yeah, she's a friend. Oh? How good a friend? Well, she's got herself in some trouble, and I'm trying to find her. What kind of trouble? I don't want to get you involved. Just tell me what she did. Look, kid, you're already in way over your head. I'm not leaving until you tell me. She killed somebody. been to sleep. I went to your room to see if you were okay and you weren't there. I couldn't sleep, so I went for a walk. In the middle of the night. Oh, Andrew, honey, please tell me what's going on. Look, you were asking me all those questions. Is a friend of yours in trouble? I met this girl. She seems to need help, but she keeps running away. From what? I'm not sure. How long have you known her? Does it matter? Not really. What's she like? Not like anyone I know. And you like her a lot, huh? You don't know what kind of trouble she's in, huh? I wish I could be sure. I could meet her at the shelter. Thanks. But I don't even know where she is. Oh, Aaron, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mind if I take a look at that? This is fascinating. Oh, well, this is nothing. We had better garbage yesterday. Erin, things aren't only what they seem. What do you see there? Well, Lynch, I didn't particularly care for the first time. Look a little more carefully. Wait. You aren't going to push my face in it like I did to Andrew once. <laughs> no. The point is, it isn't just garbage. It's life recycling itself. In a disgusting way. Ah, but you have to see the beauty in it. What, what is seemingly worthless right now will soon be used to replenish our soil. Well, that's amazing. I'm glad you think so. How much can we charge for this? kind of good with locks. And I'm kind of good with knocking. You want to try it sometime. Where were you last night? Someone is after me and he was getting too close. Why was he after you? He wants to hurt me. 
I talked to him, and that's not what he said. You talked to Carl? He said he was trying to help you. Yeah, right. Because you killed someone. And you believe him? I don't know who to believe. Then I came to the wrong place. Piper, wait a second! Are you all right? It was Carl. He's trying to kill me. Why would he do that? I live on the street, okay? I see things. Carl was mugging this guy. He wouldn't give Carl his wallet, so Carl stabbed him. He knows I saw him. He came after me. I've been running ever since. So you can identify him. Let's go to the police. No. You know, it would be easier for me to believe you were innocent if you stopped acting so guilty. Please, just hide me till I can think of a way out. All right, come on. Dr. J, sorry to barge in. This is Piper. Oh, hello, Piper. She's sort of in trouble. Can she stay here for a little while? What kind of trouble? Someone's trying to kill me. I have to get out of town or I don't know what... Call the police. No! Why not? Dr. J. Please. Andy, the girl is in trouble. Why do you want to wait? I don't know, but... Not again! Why can't she stay put for a minute? Every time we're together for more than five minutes, she leaves. Andrew, I can see this girl means a lot to you. She's got me so confused. So don't get blinded by this one incident. It's the fifth time in the last 24 hours. All she does is leave. Andrew, calm down. Things aren't only what they seem to be. Why does she leave? She's scared. Maybe she doesn't know who to trust. She does keep coming back. That's right. I guess I'm all she's got. I ran away. I was out of money, and I met Carl. We worked as a pickpocketing team. I wanted to get out, but when he mugged that guy and stabbed him, I couldn't believe it. I just ran. When I slowed down, I realized there was nowhere to go. You don't have to do this. 
I want to make sure Carl goes down for everything he's got coming to him. I should have done it before, but I was afraid. And I'm tired of running. You've got a lot of courage. No, I didn't used to have it. <laughs> you should do that more often. Andrew? Yeah? You're the first guy I've ever pulled into a shower. I have to admit I was a little surprised. <laughs> you looked about 15. Oh. of you to invite me to lunch. Actually, it was Erin's idea. She said you haven't been eating right lately. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Actually, once you get the hang of it, it's basically just turning a fish. <laughs> no. I mean, now that Piper's gone. What well, Melissa's mom said she could... With all due respect to Melissa's mother, I don't think you're quite old enough to go whitewater rafting. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Stephanie, you look terrific. You look pretty good yourself. <laughs> Is Melissa's mother going? No, she says it's way too dangerous for her. Oh. <laughs> and how are you doing? Okay. Listen, I was thinking about your friend today. My friend? Yeah, I was at the shelter. Her name is Piper. She's still in trouble? Maybe not. Maybe not anymore. 